Hi, this is Paula from Crafting Your Memories with Paula. Today we're going to be playing with the beautiful memory lane paper. I have got some fun photos to share of my children having an awesome time at Rainbow's End in Auckland, New Zealand. It's one of those places that has lots of roller coasters and spinny rides and things that are a little bit, bit, bit hairy for me, but the cool children absolutely love it. So my husband took them there while I was busy at an expo and I've got some fun photos to use. So this paper range I'm going to be pulling on has got really lovely, delightful, bright shades to it. It's a special out just for this month and last month, so at the end of August it will be leaving us. Um, so I thought it was about time we started playing with it. So as you can see, there is a whole heap of papers in the range, lots of different patterns and designs. And there is um, oranges, blues, yellows, um, melons um, and greens in the cardstock range. There is also a sticker sheet if you like to have um, some easy embellishing options and a gorgeous little stamp set that's got some fun little sentiments that you can use to embellish with. So I'm going to concentrate on this um, part of the paper way. So there's this gorgeous piece here that's got quite a um, graduation of colours and on the back is this really lovely stripe. So as I say, we um, the kids went to Rainbow's End and it is a fun, fun, bright place. And as you can see with the um, front entrance of Rainbow's End, it has all the colours of the rainbow. So that's where I came to um, grabbing this paper away, thinking this could work really well. So I hope you enjoy watching how I, this um, layout comes together. It might get you a little inspired. Pop along to my website at... Um, paulasimmons.closetomyheart.co.nz if you'd like to find out more about the memory lane range. So getting started, this stripey paper has definitely got the right vibe but it's certainly too busy for this photo to be all over the top of it. So what I'm doing is just taking a small amount, one and a quarter inch for the top and three quarters of an inch for the bottom and that just gives that impression of stripes without being overpowering. Now the back of this paper is just gorgeous with those graduating colours so I'm definitely going to use that. So therefore I adhere the whole lot to a white sheet of cardstock just so that I can use the entire strip of paper. Now as you can see I've brought in a little bit of the theme park um, theme by doing a little bit of stamping. It's an old stamp that I have that was called Amusement Park Everyday Life from many years ago but it just is perfect for this theme of Rainbow's End. So now I'm going to pull in colours and it's all about the photos here. So I've got this beautiful orange which is our nectarine. This colour is leaving us at the end of this month in fact so it's perfect to have a little go of using it before it goes. Um, I do break the photo mat with with um, using a little white bit of journaling. I pull in the yellow, which is honey butter and black. And then I also bought in our new color of the year journey, which is pretty fabulous. It pulls in a bit of the blue that is missing from the background paper. So I go off now and I start to make some embellishments. Now here's a sage that's the green that's in the kit. I'm adding a little bit of the journey color, just splotching it all over. And then I go off and cut some of those beautiful die cut leaves from our Sprigs and Leaves um, Thin Cut. I also use another thin cut to create a few swirls on. And then I also create some embellishments with embossing powders. One's using the black archival pigment and clear embossing. And the other one is using the Versamart and white embossing. And I actually made quite a few embellishments that way to add a bit of shine and shimmer and it also makes those sentiments stand out even more beautifully. So here I am clustering up some of those embellishments just to fill it together. I feel that that black swirl, I've used it a few times actually when I do my double page, it gives that impression of movement which is what theme parks are all about. So you can see on the right hand side I've made a few more embellishment clusters and I've stamped from the memory lane stamp the word so much fun down the bottom and it stands out beautifully in the white embossing powder. So to finish off I use all some of my new journey accents. I'm doing some of the dots which have hearts and stars and circle shapes to them and then I'm pulling out the beautiful sequins that come with the um, journey range as well and I start to place them all over. Now the sequins are gorgeous because they have all variety of shades of blues and they've got even got some whites in there. Some are more shiny than others so it's just a really good mix and combo to work with. So as you can see this page has come together beautifully. It was all inspired by that piece of paper and how it worked with the stripes of our title Rainbow's End and I'm really pleased with the end effect. I hope you've enjoyed watching it being put together. Thanks for watching.